Hello, this is Ambit, and welcome to my Minecraft tutorial series. Now, this is uh, also going to be serving as my capstone project for my high school, which I will not be disclosing the name of, because this video will and the future ones will be going on my public YouTube channel. Um, so, uh, with all that said and done, let's get right into it. So, upon starting the, up the game, this is the screen that you will see. It has the title of the game, Minecraft Java Edition, with a little fun little splash text right there. This is going to be a complete single player tutorial. Um, so, without further ado, let's get right into the game by hitting single player. And let's just name it something like... Uh, Tutor tutori tutorial god my spelling sucks uh world survival click that button one two three times to switch it to easy mode so it will not be too hard for you beginning players out there uh, but it also will not be too easy and too boring so uh, don't touch any of this stuff that is for more experienced players uh, but after after you get this all set up, just hit create new world. You'll see a fun little animation here that indicates the progress of the world being created. All right, all right, we've loaded into the world, and the first thing you're gonna see is probably a lot of grass, a lot of trees, and a lot of sky. Uh, you will also notice up in the top right corner that the the game has its own little tutorial thing going on. So you feel free to follow along with that, move around, jump around, and oh, fun little thing, um, biomes. So here is a snowy biome. It has a few different things, like for one thing the water will be frozen, the uh, night mobs will be a little more dangerous, but that is uh, not something that you'll need to worry about if you're just uh, sticking to the grass area. So let's just go up to this tree. Uh, you can break blocks with a simple uh, holding down of the left mouse button. So let's do that just to get through to the center of this tree. And then you're going to want to break some logs because that is where every Minecraft player starts. So once you have your logs, bring up your inventory with a click of the E button. And then here you'll see your character right here and your oak logs. So just go ahead and drag them into the crafting grid and you'll get oak planks. And you are now free to build stuff. Oh, look at that, a village. Uh, we'll get into that later. So let's just grab a little bit right here. And start building our house. Just go ahead and right click. Pop. So let's do that a few more times until we have. Oh, that's a misclick. And after a few blocks placed, you will start to notice a lovely little foundation for your first house. We are going to need a bit more wood though because 16 is not enough. You'll need a lot of building blocks. Four more logs, that'll make 16 more planks, which should be roughly enough to finish our little house. It's a lovely little square, almost. Look at that. Uh, yeah, let's punch out a hole for the door because we are going to want to go in and out to protect ourselves from the nasties that roam the world. And if you end up getting bored or and or tired of breaking things with nothing but your bare hands, make some oak planks just like you're used to. And but what we're going to do with these after they're done is a click first, but hold that button down and drag them around the crafting grid just like that, and you're going to get a crafting table. That will help you craft almost everything that your heart desires in the world of Minecraft. Right there. 
What is that? It is a 3x3 three three crafting grid, as opposed to the 2x2 two two area that we have in our inventory. Let's go ahead, and there are a lot of things you can do with the oak planks, you'll uh, very quickly start to notice. Let's go ahead and make some sticks, just like that. Just hold the right click instead of the left click to drop one at a time. Let's make some sticks. Place them down like that, and then take the oak logs and place them down like an axe, and you'll get a wooden axe. So take that out, and we are now free to chop down trees in a much quicker fashion. So I'm just going to have a quick little time lapse of getting this house finished up. And there we go, all finished up. Now that looks awfully uh, bland and a little bit dark on the inside if I'm being honest. I also don't like how low the ceiling is right now, but we can get that fixed up. Let's just go ahead and make our second tool, which will be vital to the gameplay. That is a pickaxe. Wooden pickaxe. By now you know how to build things, so now let's get to mining. So let's quickly uh, see this. This is coal. We're going to need that for torches, which will uh, help keep us safe from most things appearing behind our backs to eat us. Let's grab those. Yeah, that's getting a bit dangerous. And head right back home to our house. Let's make some torches just like that. A stick with some coal. It will light itself automatically and stay lit up because that is how the world of Minecraft operates. Free of the burden of physics. Now the night time, it may initially seem a bit scary at first, but there are ways of avoiding it, as I will show you right now. Uh, what you're going to want to do is find a herd of sheep. Uh, it can be anywhere in the world. And the sheep, you're going to want to take their wool, and sadly you're going to need to kill them for that because there is no way to just take their wool peacefully with our current uh, tool set. Just gonna wanna hit them a few times with your axe. They will try to escape, but there's your wool. You're gonna need three of those to make a bed to sleep in and skip the night. Last one right here. Oh, three. Run back home quickly because right there. Oh, right there too. Those are the bad monsters that I have been talking about. Go inside, place your oak logs in a platform like that, and your white wool on top as the covers and or mattress. Place it anywhere, but make sure you place it on the second block away from the wall, otherwise you will not be able to uh, place it. So go ahead and place it right there instead, and since it is a two block uh, block Ooh. so go ahead and sleep in that before any monsters find us they right click and you'll see uh, throughout our adventure you'll get achievements those are just a fun little way of congratulating your achievements in the game so let's go back out, and you will see all the monsters burning violently to their demise. That is very fun to watch, because it means you are now safe. So let's continue. Run over to your local cave, and let's get right back into mining. Go ahead and mine some stone to make a better version of your current tool. Four stone should do it. 
but let's uh, just get more just in case. So let's just get right here. We are. Um, yeah, I gotta say I'm kind of iffy about this design. So what I'm gonna do just to make it a bit more fancy, a bit more visually appealing, get some logs. Ooh, see that? That is good luck. That is a ruined nether portal. And they have, more times than not, a chest with shinies. Magical shinies. Silk touch golden hoe, we can use that to gather... <sighs> So to, I'm being honest, it's a, it's a hoe, it's not very useful. But this, Fortune 3, that lets us collect more of, let's say, iron, diamonds, emeralds, any valuable resources in Minecraft. Fortune 3 will help us get a lot more of them. So that, I am definitely glad that we encountered that. But seeing as they are golden tools, they are going to break quite easily. So we will be very careful to only use them when absolutely necessary. Let's get back to what we were doing before. I got a bit sidetracked there. Uh, it would have been better to mention this before, but you can run with a simple click of the control button while you are already moving forward. So let's just... Make a little tower of logs in each corner. Yeah, a pretty good practice for building in this game, though, is always to just include logs. Uh, it doesn't matter what kind of log. Uh, for example, those are birch ones. I personally like them a bit more than oak. But um, good building practice in this game is to just put logs on each corner of your build just like that. It is already looking quite a bit nicer than before. Let's get back to this poor tree that we chopped half of and ran away from. And the last one. Oop. Right there. Now, doors. You're going to want a door for your house so that monsters don't creep in and scare you while you're using your crafting table. Make your oak planks just like normal and place two on the top, three on the side like this and fill it in and you'll have three oak doors. If we just place it like this there will be a gap on the top letting things get in. So we're going to break that and place it from the inside and now we are completely locked in our house and everything else is completely locked out if need be makes some nice little sounds so second block a furnace that lets you cook food and get a lot more value out of the things that you eat to operate the furnace you're going to want a uh, fuel for this slot a whatever you want to cook in this one and it'll spit out uh, whatever you put in here as a cooked variant right here let's use these oak planks as a fuel put them there put this raw mutton right there uh, it'll take usually about 10 seconds to cook one of them it has to do one each uh, take it out and when you eat it it should fill up the rest of your hunger. So just go ahead and uh, hold right click to eat it. So let's take that one out and save it for later because we are currently good on health, our hunger. Go back to the mines because we used most of our cobblestone to make that furnace when we could have used it instead to make better tools. If you want to, you can go a bit deeper into the caves. You might be able to find some more valuable resources, but then again, you might also just find a wall. So let's go out, uh, because this cave is currently quite worthless to us. 
and let's try this one instead. Which is also worthless, because it just goes somewhere else. Right there. Oh, little, little water block. Uh, it's getting night time one more time though, so I'm just gonna run back and rest up. Good night. And let's actually now go explore this village. Now, you might uh, be led to believe that there will be other players of the game in the village. That is incorrect. What you will find are these funky little Squidward looking dudes, like this guy. Uh, they don't say much, mainly just these little grunts. But if you right click them, you can trade with them. Uh, in this instance, if we give this guy 32 rotten flesh, that is a meat that you will get huh? from certain monsters like zombies, we will get one emerald, and if we give him one emerald, we will get two redstone dust, which we huh. can use for creating several different types of contraptions and uh -huh. potions uh, way later on in the game. So let's go ahead and go inside of one of their houses. And that is a cartography table that is only useful if you like making maps of the places that you go. Here's a chest though, and you will find different uh, different little pieces of loot, like uh, bread, sticks, sometimes you'll find emeralds, sometimes you'll find apples, that kind of stuff. If you're lucky, you might find a house with uh, armor in it. So let's just go up here and explore a bit more of the village. This one right here. Ooh, that guy does not want to trade. This one right here has a blast furnace. That blast furnace, um, it's a different variant of the regular furnace. It cooks uh, like resources and minerals a lot faster, but it does not cook food. Let's go in here. That one has a bed. Yeah, you can also get beds from the villages if you're lucky enough to spawn close to one like I was. But, unfortunately, a lot of the houses may not have any... Oh. Any loot inside them. Any chests, I should say. So we're just gonna... Go and, go and uh, check each and every one of them, just to see. Ooh, huh? here's a toolsmith. Huh? He will help you get a lot of more advanced huh? tools, as well as um, the more you trade with these guys, uh, huh? the more this little bar up here will fill up. And once you uh, fill it up, it will reset to zero. Huh? And once you uh, fill it up enough times, uh, you will get huh? more and more different, uh, more powerful tools until you may huh? even start getting a few magical ones. So that will definitely be useful uh, if you like playing the game for, or, or playing one world for long periods of time. But for now, uh, let's just do it normally. So these, this right here, that's wheat. And that helps you. If you get three of them, you can make bread. And that's how villagers got the bread here. So let's just run back. Ooh, big cave. Why don't we go in there right now? And possibly get stuck. But also possibly not. There we go. Just go in. Make sure that you do have a quick way to get out though, because you could very quickly get swarmed by monsters and die. So yeah, you're gonna want to place a bunch of torches on your way down into the cave, even as it gets super uh, thin. And oh, look at that! We found some iron! Now, in the current state, as you only have a wooden pickaxe, you are not going to be able to mine that iron, 
because you will need the next step up from a wooden pickaxe, which is a stone pickaxe. Ooh, more iron. And a bat, look at that. These guys are pretty harmless. A lot of people think they're a bit annoying though, so if you want to, then you can just hit it a few times and it should uh, go away. Let's go right back up to the top to get some wood. Gather some of that up to make another uh, crafting table so we can use it down in the cave. Look at that! A little friend! It's a little wolf. Uh, these guys don't hit them or else the entire pack will come after you, which it does not seem to be around right now. Uh, they don't drop anything though, so just don't kill them. But if you have any bones on you, then you can use those bones to try to tame this little guy. And then you'll have a friend to accompany you on all of your journeys. Alright, there's that iron. So, what we're going to do, uh, if you already have a stone pickaxe, then that's fine, you can just mine that right away. But I'm going to quickly just make one, right here. Oh, that's an axe. There we go. Pickaxe, getting an upgrade. So let's mine this up. There we go. That's your iron. Now, for iron, that's going to be... Like, not enough for anything right now. So let's go up here, just a bit deeper into the cave. Place some torches so we don't get attacked and torn apart. Maybe just light it up a bit more. That's good. And pick up this. Alright, nine iron, that should be good. Let's go back. Now every Minecraft world will be different, like uh, in its own ways. It will be, it will have like different hills, the bombs will be different shapes. Everything will just be an entirely new world for you and you alone to adventure and find out every little secret in one more day complete. This is actually the perfect time to do some more indoor stuff. Preferably showing you how to make uh, tools and weapons and, more importantly, armor to protect yourself from the monsters of the night. So go right here, pop some more wood in there because we forgot to grab some coal. Coal is, in my opinion, it's the best uh, resource because it is the easiest to come across, as well as it typically lasts a lot longer than these oak planks. Let's just put these in there. Alright, last one is just finishing up here. Uh, let's just uh, wait for that. Take that out a bit ahead of it. And there we go, acquire hardware. Let's move right over to the crafting bench right here, or crafting table. Depends what you want to call it, it doesn't really matter. Let's make a helmet just like that. Just like that. Iron helmet, that'll give you two points of armor. Just put that right on your head, just like that, and it will appear on your character. And you'll notice right above your health, there is a new bar, and that indicates how much armor you have. So let's use up the remaining iron to build an iron pickaxe. The iron pickaxe will help you mine a lot, lot more than the stone pickaxe. I believe it's pretty much everything in the game except obsidian and a few more things that I can't think of right now. But uh, there we go. Let's just go to sleep. One more time for this video. And... Oh, look at him. Oh, he sees me. Let's go attack him. Bat. You do not want to get uh, hit by one of these guys while they're on fire, because otherwise you will also light on fire, and that will be no fun for anybody. It's a little piece of rotten flesh. And collect that if you want to give it to the villager later. So, 
Yeah, one more. It's not pretty, but it's uh, it's a start. So here we go. That is episode one. That's how you get set up in the world of Minecraft and assure your own survival. Please <laughs> like and subscribe. Oh god, I feel gross saying that. But, uh, I mean, it helps. Uh, yeah, see you though. Have a good one.